It is possible to halogenate molecules at allylic positions via a free radical substitution pathway by using n succinamide as the halogenating source. The formation of multiple products is explained by the delocalized carbon radical intermediate being trapped at either end of the allylic system. n succinamide or NBS, is a readily handled solid that reacts with HBr to produce molecular bromine. These bromine molecules will break apart at high temperatures to give bromine radicals, which will then abstract a hydrogen from the organic substrate. The abstraction is radioselective since the outcome is a stabilized allylic radical. In the last step, the allylic radical reacts with bromine at either end of the allyl system to give two regioisomeric alkyl halide products. The NBS reacts to produce a low concentration of bromine molecules, which will then cleave at the elevated temperature employed here. This initiation step provides the bromine radicals needed for abstraction from the organic substrate. Bromine radicals may add to the double bond, however this process is reversible. Abstraction of a hydrogen atom from the allylic position in a propagation step is preferred, since this gives a carbon-based radical that is stabilized by delocalization. It is important to note that the delocalized radical is only one species that has radical character on two separate carbon atoms. As such, the radical is then able to react with molecular bromine at either carbon to form the allyl bromide products in another propagation step. The two products are then regioisomers. Overall, the radical-based halogenation of an allylic substrate is convenient when NBS in a non-polar solvent is used as the halogen radical source. Since a resonance stabilized allylic radical is produced during the reaction, it is possible for regioisomeric products to be formed in the last step.